Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated system to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we're going to head into some games in the NHL. We nearly are at the halfway point in the season. And these are games for Friday, January the 14th. And there's only a few games on tap, but we're going to get started. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section, which will help you make your picks successful. Okay, so let's take over some of the games here. The first game is Vegas and Edmonton. And actually, this game was postponed, so that will not be played. We're going to take a look at the next one here. Dallas and Florida. The Dallas... Stars headed to play sixth in the Central Division, and the Panthers have the top record in the Atlantic Division. You can see that the Panthers are burning hot at the moment. They have won five out of their last six games, and they've also been involved in games over the line in all six games. They've been playing in a lot of high-scoring contests. The Stars are average status at the moment. They're coming off of a loss, and they were 4-2 and two over their last six, and they have been involved in games over the line in five out of the last six games. This is a very good indication that this game will go over the line. And you can see by the score prediction of Florida 5, Dallas 2, a score of seven total goals will likely be over. As you see right now, the lines and everything have not yet been posted, but take a look that as it gets closer. And the confidence in the prediction is at 91%. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Florida is at plus 26, and Dallas is on the upward trend. They were at plus 7 just uh, a little less than a month ago, and they have climbed up to now plus 19. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator to see the consistency factor, you can see that Florida is at plus 13 to plus 4 for Dallas, which means that Florida is very, very consistent according to their favorite underdog status. Dallas is moderately consistent as well. Florida will definitely be the favorite in this one, and I really don't see how Dallas is going to stay in this contest. I believe that Florida wins going away in a game going over the line. Anaheim and Minnesota. The Ducks are ice cold up at the moment. You can see that they are 2-4 and four over their last six, and they're 2-1 and one over their last three. As far as the over-under goes, you can see they've been involved in games going over the line in their last four. Minnesota's average up at the moment. They are 2-4 and four over their last six, and they are have won their last two. And as far as the over-under goes, you can see that they have been over also in four out of the last six games. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Anaheim was at plus 20 as of January the 8th. They have dropped just in the last few days down to plus 13, while Minnesota rose from 13 to 15. The score predictor shows that Minnesota is given a 42 edge in this one at home with about 55% level of confidence. If you want to see the consistency factor, which we always like to do, that both teams have been very consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status at plus 10 for um, Anaheim as of January the 6th and plus 9 for Minnesota. So this should also be updated since it has been updated in the last five days. Take a look at that. Both teams are very stable. I really don't see much in the way of any surprises in this one also. I do like the Wild to win in this one. And I think it's going to be a higher scoring game. I would bet the over. The last game we want to look at is the Arizona Coyotes and the Colorado Avalanche. Now, Coyotes are ice cold down. You can see that they have lost four out of their last six games. And they have been involved in games over the line in five out of their last six. The Avalanche are burning hot. They have won their last five and five and one over their last six. Colorado comes into the game third in the Central Division. The Coyotes are last in the division. You can see the score prediction has a 6-2 to two margin of win for Colorado with 88% level of confidence. And that has uh, changed a little bit. It was 6-1 to one with 91% level of confidence. But still, Colorado in a route is what it looks like. And as far as the score being so high, I believe that's a good indication as well to bet the over. Because of the totals have been over in you know the last six for Colorado and five out of the last six for Arizona. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Colorado is at plus 27. And although Arizona has been on a slight upward trend, they're still only at plus five. Um, let's take a look here at the volatility oscillator, the consistency factor. Here's a good indication, a really good indication to bet Arizona to lose and Colorado to win in a route because look at this. 
Arizona extremely consistent at plus 18. Colorado extremely consistent at plus 14. And remember, consistent doesn't mean consistently winning. It means consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. Colorado will be a big favorite. I like Colorado to win easily. And this is really the lock of, of the three games. This is definitely a lock. Pick Colorado to win. Cover and in a game going over the line. So there you have it in the light schedule for this Friday in the NHL. Happy betting and we will see you next time.